द जलियन वाला बाग मैसेकर वॉज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्निंग पॉइंट इन मल्टीपल वेज एंड इन मेनी वेज इट ब्रॉट टूगेदर बोथ द रेवोल्यूशनरीज एंड द कांग्रेस पार्टी इंक्लूडिंग द मॉडरेट्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड सो यू हैव विद दिस द नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट लेड बाय गांधी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट गांधी बिगिन्स टू रियली Uh, do a pan india movement uh, uh, of the scale that had not been seen before and a lot of people participated in this um the the british realized that the jallianwala bag massacre uh, had changed the climate and they tried many ways in which to divide the indians but the movement kept gathering pace so this is the context in which many of the revolutionaries uh, in uh, what they were called as goodwill gesture Uh, were freed which included sachindranath sanyal who returned in the middle of the uh, non cooperation back to india however not all the uh, uh, revolutionaries were entirely enthused by the non cooperation movement uh, sachindranath sanyal for example remained quite suspicious of it and did not par- personally participate in it uh, and he was in some ways proved his suspicions turned out to be proved right because uh in 1922 just as the pace uh, of this movement was reaching uh, culminating uh, in a, a crescendo uh, gandhi all of a sudden uh, called it off following a incident at chauri chaura now many of the revolutionaries who had jo- joined this movement felt very let down and so they went back out and began to organize themselves Sachindranath Sanyal who had not participated in the uh, non cooperation movement now became their leader because Raj Bihari Bose was away in um uh, Japan Savarkar was still in jail and later on in house arrest uh, in Ratnagiri uh, and Sri Aurobindo by this point had drifted off uh, and had become uh, more of a religious leader So Sachindranath Sanyal organized a new umbrella group called the Hindustan Republican Association and under it a something called the Hindustan Republican Army now the names are actually very important the Hindustan Republican Army is directly inspired by the Irish Republican Army so the name is very very significant and they were particularly annoyed that they were able uh, that the Irish meanwhile had been able to push ahead and get large concessions ultimately leading to independence and a small country right next to britain being able to push ahead so fast um when in india uh, the movement uh, the non cooperation movement had lost a uh, completely lost momentum um uh, really in many ways uh, instigated this uh, sort of attempt to revive it Uh, by uh, the likes of raj bihari bose so he then began to gather up many of the remaining revolutionaries in particular he uh, uh, brought in to the fold the likes of uh, bismil uh, and ashfaqullah khan uh, chandrashekhar azad rajendra lahiri um, and of course bhagat singh now this group now began to accumulate arms the problem here was that while the germans were still willing to help in in, in formally and uh, they were able to procure various uh, shipments of mauser guns the they didn't have any money so bismil came up with the idea of trying to make major raids on government facilities to raise money and so one of the big raids that they planned was a, a robbery of a train carrying um large amounts of money at a place called kakodi famously called the kakodi uh, train robbery um not everybody uh, every one of the revolutionaries was keen on this plan um and in fact ashfaqullah had clearly warned that this this particular act uh, would perhaps lead to a uh, major reprisal and an unwinding of the movement nevertheless this this uh, particular uh, uh, incident did take place uh, and it turned out that ashfaqullah was right uh, the british uh, struck back very very strong strongly 
uh, Bismil, Ashfaqullah himself, and Rahijendra Lahiri were hanged. Uh, many of the other leaders were captured, including Sachinath Sanyal and many of his brothers and relatives. Uh, and they were uh, again sent off to jail. Sachinath Sanyal was sent back to um, Andamans, uh, to port, uh, the prison uh, in Port Blair, uh, and so on and so forth. This left uh, a much younger leadership in charge of the Hindustan Republican Army. Um, and so, even though uh, Chandrasekhar Azad at this stage may have been barely 20 or 21, he then became the leader of this movement and he began to organize these groups. Uh, a lot of this, mind you, was going on in and around Varanasi, which was the hub of many of these movements. 